Well, it's a special edition of Channel 6 Sports as 2019 National Champion Dee Dee Richards is here to co-anchor with me. Dee Dee, we are so glad you're here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Remember, breathe. Just breathe. I'm breathing. Hey, look, <laughs> you, you've had a couple of weeks to reflect back since that incredible night. Has it sunk in that you're a national champion? Not yet. You know, with it sitting right here, it still hasn't sank in. I think we need more. Maybe it will sink in a little faster. What was your reaction when Chloe hit that game winning layup? I know all of us were freaking Man. out. We almost had a heart attack. What about your reaction on the court? If you look at me, I was kind of like stone faced. So like anything can happen. I was trying not to celebrate too early. I didn't want to get my heart broken. So I didn't really, you know, capitalize on it like I wanted to. Let me tell you something. You guys are entertainers. You love to play the drums a lot. Of course, we have video of Moon Urson doing the worm. Who's the best entertainer on the team here? I hope it would be me, goodness, you Look know? At you. Right. That, I was really feeling the drums that day, too. They had the little louder thingies, whatever those things are called over there. I was really excited. I love it. Are you ready <laughs> to do this? I'm so ready. Let's All right, do it. let's do it here. Let's start off with softball, where it's been a rough year for Glenn Moore and his Baylor Bears. Uh, but, you know, things are hopefully could to turn around here. Yeah, but those girls are young and very talented. You know, they'll get it, things turned around pretty soon, I hope. I know. They're hoping to get back in the win column against my alma mater, the Lamar Cardinals, bottom of the first. Cassidy Krupit, the bunt here. Throw to first. Uh-oh. Too high. That's never good <laughs> in the right field. That allows Nikki Dawson to score, and Baylor takes a 1-0 lead. Next batter is Midway's Taylor Ellis. Lamar with the wild pitch. Lou Gilbert hustles home easily, and it's 2-0. Ellis still batting. This time she gets a hold of this one, sending it to left center. Crew Pitt scores to extend Baylor's lead to three zip. Bears going on to win 6 0. Very nice. Number nine, Temple <laughs> College looking for their 34th win of the season, taking on Weatherford here. No score in the first. Eliza Eberhard knocks one off the fence in right center. That will bring home Amanda Vallejo to make it one zip. Then Christina Cam Kamnick crushes one to deep left center field. That's off the middle of the fence. Two more runs come home, and it's 3-0. Yeah, you know, they were off to a hot start there. But bottom half of the inning, Temple responds as Daisy, Daisy Gonzalez delivers a line drive to the right side. Two runs, catch home. They would wear out home plate today. Lady Leopards go on to score and win 22-4. to All right, Didi, let's switch gears to baseball. The month of March. Not too kind for Temple College there. Mm -hmm. They went 5-11 and 11 last month, but here's some good news. They have won six of their last seven games. The Leopards have also scored at least six runs in all those six of those wins. You're right. Let's see if they can keep this going here. They scored off against North Central Texas College. Game one of a doubleheader. Pick it up in the top of the third. Lions leading 3-0. Kimio Thomas, line drop left field. Tyrese Claiborne steps on the gas pedal. They extend their lead to 4 to nothing. Didi. That was plenty of runs for Lion pitcher Zeke Wood. The freshman struck out back-to-back -back hitters. We'll have a final tonight at 10 o'clock. Um, former La Vega standout Brandon Benson announced on Twitter that he will be transferring from SMU. In two seasons, Benson played in nine career games, totaling one reception for 72 yards and a touchdown against Stephen F. Austin. Back in 2015, he helped La Vega win a state championship as a senior. All right, how about that? That was awesome. Yeah! That was awesome. You did great. That was fantastic. What do you think? Could you do this every day? You know, it's a little nerve-wracking. Hopefully, I get used yeah, but here's to the it. Part. No pain. You don't have to do any you know, squat thrusts, no exercises. You don't even have to play yourself into shape. You just got to bring the voice and a smile. That's very true. You I can do that. Great. Thank you. Fantastic. I know. I think she's coming for our jobs. We saw this yeah, when she were. took Jessica's microphone in Tampa. We all were like, she's going to come for our jobs. I would never. Would never. All right. <laughs> There's well, always room. Well, if you didn't get your DD filled, make sure you check her out again tomorrow. The Baylor Lady Bears are holding the championship parade. In just a couple of days, the parade will start at 6 p.m. Thursday in downtown Waco. Following the parade, the team will sign autographs at the Farrell Center. The Lady Bears won their third title, defeating Notre Dame in that exciting game that DD was a part of. Were you ever going to forget that? I know that you've got a couple years left, but you're going to want to do it again. But the first one's the sweet one, right? The first one is the sweet one. It's going to be tough to beat, for sure. All right. All right. And I remember when the Lady Bears won their first in 2005. I was here covering it. You were six years old. I was old, six, right? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a little, a little insult I wasn't injury. even thinking about basketball then. Well, you sure are now. You're awesome. <laughs> we're so glad you were here. We will be right back right after this.